So there are a few reasons why you should not move to Corona and this video will highlight those reasons. I'll be sharing certain things that past clients have brought up as reasons that kept them from moving forward with buying a home in Corona. So make sure to watch to the very end because the last point is actually the biggest reason. Hi, and welcome to Hildren Homes, where you will find real estate information that no one else is sharing with you. Are you looking to purchase your very first home in 2024? Be sure to grab my free ebook, The First Time Home Buyer's Guide to Purchasing a Home. And if you have any questions, book a free 30 minute call with me using the Calendly link down below. All right, so let's dig in. So before we do anything, let's just talk about what it's like overall to live in Corona. Here in Corona, there's a population of about 159,137 people, which gives it a very moderate sized vibe. People who live here tend to spend the majority of their time doing things like, well, to be honest, there's not too much to do in Corona. The downtown area is literally in its redevelopment stage. Corona doesn't even have a mall within the city. And apart from shopping centers where movie theaters are located and various restaurants located throughout the city, Corona really doesn't have too much to offer. Now, despite this fact, Corona is a popular destination for new families to set their roots at. This is due to the favorable home prices and growing population. But here are the things about Corona that may just make you decide to avoid moving here at all costs. Now, first up, we have con number one, it's the prices. This is not great because if you are moving from somewhere outside of California or New York or any more, any of the big populated cities or states around the United States, Corona is considered one of the more expensive cities to live in. So compared to the US average, Corona is about 31.2% higher. Things such as groceries, gasoline, rent are more expensive than most US cities. Now to live comfortably in Corona, you will need a minimum annual income of about 125,000 if married, and if you are single, you'll need about $7,100,000 to live comfortably in Corona. Hey, by the way, if you are finding value in this video, could you do me a huge favor? Like, comment, subscribe, because I mean, why not? All right, next up, let's look at con number two, entertainment. Now this sucks because we want to be able to enjoy fun weekend shindigs with our family. So outside of the Corona Heritage Museum, again, I mentioned earlier, there isn't too much to do in the entertainment space. However, with the steady population growth, downtown Corona is going through a major renovation. They're currently in the very first phase of construction. Now, I anticipate the entertainment space to increase in the years to come, especially as more new millennial young families come in and plant their roots. All right, now con number three is the traffic. I consider this a con because time is super valuable. Who wants to spend several hours sitting in traffic being away from their own family? Now, Corona is considered a commuter city with several of the population having to commute 30 minutes back and forth to work. Now, during the rush hour, the work commute can easily increase to about one hour and sometimes even more. All right, so what do you think? Are these cons enough to keep you away from Corona for good? Or do you think you might find ways to deal with them? If you're a long time or new resident of Corona and have a few tips about dealing with any of these issues, feel free to drop them down below. Or if you have more ideas, don't hesitate to let me know. Let's get as much information as possible for those thinking about moving to Corona. Now, if you've gone through this video and really think these cons are not that bad and certainly not deal breakers, I'd love to help you find the perfect home in the area. Just reach out using the contact information below and I'll get you an exclusive list of my preferred homes within the area. All right. Thank you so much for watching. I will catch you guys on the next one.